found out we first found out he was poorly when he was about six months old. Um, we took him to casualty because he couldn't go to the toilet and everything everything just basically spiraled from there. We didn't come out of hospital for three months from there and that's when everything started. The, first, the GP didn't just didn't know, we thought that his kidney had gone into retention um, and then it turned out that that wasn't the case, that there was a tumour that was blocking to his bladder and his bowel. And the tumour was about the size of an orange, so obviously it needed to go quite quick. When Moody was really poor, we went to a caravan in Primrose Valley with a charity called Candle Lighters. And, um, just, I don't know, just some really special place for me. It was where Rudy took his first steps and they told me he never would. He said that Rudy wouldn't walk. His prognosis was quite grim at one point. Um, and then I just thought, I, got, I don't know, there was something in me that thought I needed to do something good. Make something good come out of something horrendous. So I decided that I'd do a, a similar sort of thing to Candlelight, because that's a huge charity. Um, a lot more personal, so I well, got the first caravan donated by a gentleman called David Firth. From that, he's now become a trustee of the charity. Um, and then, from then, we formed, we got the charity registered, formed a, formed a proper charity, and we managed to raise enough money to buy a second caravan. So, that's where we are now. So far, we've helped about, about 150 families. And they all say, what a difference it makes. It's just a break from the norm, from coming out of the hospital environment and doctor's appointments, which I empathise with, because I've been there. I didn't realise the impact it would have going um, and staying through somebody's generosity within a caravan for a holiday. I just thought, oh great, it's a chance for us to get away. But when I got there, it felt incredibly generous, it felt incredibly kind, the fact that I'd been thought about and everything was meant to be perfect. Last year we opened up the treat rooms, which is where we are now. And we do, um, we do cream teas and afternoon teas and things like that. And any money that after the um, cost of the shop goes straight back into the charity. Most of the furniture was donated. So, yeah, I mean, there's been some cost, don't get me wrong, but like we've had bulletin made. We've, all, we've been really, really lucky. We've had loads of teapots donated, all the teacups and things like that. So, it was 18 August. So, it's been six years cancer free. So my role within Rudy's is, is, is to develop the charity. So I go out and speak to people and, and try and get them on board with fundraising for us. I also help to organise the events at Rudy's and uh, do a lot of funding applications. So we can apply for funding by whatever means that is there and available. And when we are successful on a funding application, the money comes in and the money goes towards our lodge fund. So at the minute, we're fundraising towards a lodge. As you know, we've got two caravans in Filey. Um, we're fundraising for the lodge and the lodge will either be sited similar, either Filey or, or maybe over Black, Blackpool Way, but that's yet to be decided. So when we have the, the lodge, it will be a, a, a special structure, it, it will be a more solid structure than like a caravans. So we can attach a hoist to the ceiling and things like that, more specialist equipment, so we can help those families with more specialised needs. I, you know, on my school The local students' union got in touch with us and said, can, can we help you in any way? And we're trying to set up a community garden so that children, local kids in the area can come down and grow vegetables that we can perhaps use in the shop, grow flowers that they can use. We're going to get young carers in and all that sort of thing. So that these kids have come today to start clearing the ground so that we can hopefully set this, um, set this garden up and really get going with it.